Hey everyone, so I'm going to start out with no makeup and then put some primer on to prep my skin for foundation. Then to achieve a nice full coverage, very flawless finish, I'm going to use a L'Oreal True Match foundation with a stippling brush. Then I'm going to take this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that is two shades lighter than my skin tone to highlight because it does not crease underneath the eyes and it stays put and I love the finish of it. And I'm going to blend that out with a stippling brush to create that inner kind of highlighted glow look. Then I'm going to take a powder that is too light for my actual skin tone and apply that over the highlighted area. This just kind of accentuates the highlight and sets it in place. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with a translucent powder. Then I'm going to use some NARS Laguna bronzer with a NARS brush. This brush is absolutely amazing, perfect for a really dramatic contour and defining the nose and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to use that and yeah, contour my face. I'm going to use a very, very soft pink blush so it's nice and natural looking. Because we are doing dark eyes, I want to keep the rest of the face nice and natural looking, so I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle to highlight. Then for our base, I'm going to use a Maybelline Color Tattoo and apply that with my fingers all over my eyelid and then blend it out very, very, very <laughs> thoroughly with a round blending brush. This is really, really crucial. You want the blending to be on point. With a short stubby blending brush, I'm going to apply some more of that underneath the eyes, quite thick. Um, it kind of adds to the smokiness of the overall eye look. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more product on my blending brush and blend it out even more. Time for this amazing, amazing pressed pigment. I'm going to press it onto my eyelids with my finger first. Then grab some on a round blending brush, a new blending brush, and then blend that into the crease and then blend it all over my eyelid as well. The tissue is there just to prevent any fallout. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and smudge that all over the color tattoo cream eyeshadow that we put on beforehand. Next, taking this awesome glossy pencil, I'm going to line my top lash line very, very kind of messily, it doesn't matter if it's not neat, and underneath my lashes and in between my lashes and just everywhere, <laughs> and then take that little spongy brush we used before and just blend, 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 blend that pencil out to make it nice and smoky and grungy looking. And then line my waterline and do the same step on my bottom lashes. much thinner blending brush and put the pencil straight onto the brush and then smudge that into my lash line. Just a little bit easier because that brush we were using before was quite thick and stubby. Then I just lined the inner corner area and got a smaller blending brush, put some more pressed pigment on it and blended it into the outer corner of my eyes. After that I took a white highlighting shade, a matte one, and highlighted my brow bone. Then I applied some mascara, making sure I focus the majority of the product on the very, very base or root of the lashes, and then applied some falsies. Then, as usual, I applied lots of mascara on my bottom lashes, and again, I made sure I focused most of the product on the very, very base or root of the lash, because it makes them look much thicker and much darker. Then, as with the rest of the face, I went for a very, very nude lip so that the focus was on the eyes. And now for some awkward posing. <laughs> I hope you guys like this tutorial. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm definitely going to start doing this instead of my usual black smoky eye. So, woo! Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.